morning everyone and Merry Christmas if you guys aren't a regular follower of my channel my name is Maggie I am a mom to a gorgeous energetic little <laughs> toddler girl and I am currently pregnant um, I make videos about beauty and being a mom just general lifestyle videos so today I'm going to be sharing what I got for Christmas this year it is super early my god it is early um, my, my, my husband is basically like just a giant child and he was going to go to bed at like one o'clock in the morning we randomly were lying in bed because I just had just gotten up to go use the bathroom and he said oh I hear Audrey let's go open presents and he was like running up and down the stairs like a crazy person I'm like barely dragging my butt <laughs> around it's nuts but anyway now everybody's up except for Audrey she has went back down to bed thank God Audrey is my oldest if you aren't a regular follower of my channel because I know that these uh, videos are kind of popular for getting randomly watched so I thought I would just give you guys a little bit of an introduction if you're a regular here then welcome and I hope you guys enjoy this video I know I don't have a ton of makeup on or looking perfect I'm in my jammies still I'm wearing like my little Christmas present t-shirt might be able to see my cat back there in the background and no ornaments from like my head down on the Christmas tree that is because I have a toddler who likes to redecorate for me so <laughs> uh, the first thing I'm gonna get into is my stocking I did get a lot of beauty related gifts this year I don't know if that's just what I was asking for because I haven't bought myself a whole ton of makeup this year so I really wanted some a lot of the holiday collections and stuff um, I just really wanted and was really drawn to um, and I know that there are still a couple things coming in so anyway one of the first things I got was the MPOW 3-in-1 fisheye wide angle macro lens this one just attaches to your iPhone um, and I this all came in my like little Maggie stocking by the way we got these done up a couple years ago um, with all of our names on them from whole, my whole side of the family so these just attach to your iPhone um, and for me this was such a great idea because a lot of the times when I'm posting on my blog because I also have a blog Mrs. Maggie Reed at blogspot.ca if you haven't seen it yet um, even if you are a regular follower you might have seen it yet um, but these lenses oh my god my husband's already had it out and played with it <laughs> If you watch our vlog channel, you'll know that my husband's already been playing with these. It makes the quality of your pictures better because um, sometimes I don't have time to take out my huge camera just to snap a quick little photo for the vlog and uh, not the vlog, the blog. And I feel like this would make the quality of those photos a lot better and it would make me feel a lot less, I don't know, <laughs> lazy about it <laughs> if I'm using one of these lenses. Next thing I got was some cotton rounds. I needed these. I was completely out. So thank God Santa knew what I needed. Sorry, I have a cold. So like if I'm sniffling and stuff, I'm sorry. Um, I got the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation in 105. I really love this foundation. This is what I brought to the hospital with me when I gave birth to my daughter. It's just such a quick and easy foundation. It's not the highest coverage. It's not going to give you like that supermodel skin, but it's great for every day. So that's why I love it. And I get it in the lightest color because um, basically frosty the next thing I got was the elf HD under eye setting powder this is my holy grail under eye powder um, which will be mentioned in my best of beauty 2016 hint hint um, but, but this is like a holy grail item for me like I put this on every single time I put on makeup because I'm a mom I got heavy duty under eye circles and like this really helps and make sure that I don't have look like I have a gajillion wrinkles underneath my eyes so <laughs> that's why um, the next thing I got was the wet n wild color icon bronzer but I use this as a highlighter or sometimes an overall setting powder if my skin's looking hella dry um, that's really nice I got some new bobby pins you can always use those um, got some little reindeer fuzzy socks. These are the Shea infused ones from Bath and Body Works. Got the little grippies on the bottom. Um, I might put these in my hospital bag because I'm giving birth to this little baby in March. So it might be a great thing to bring in there. I got this, which was like the cutest little thing ever. Um, it's like a little tambourine. Well, my, my daughter thought it was a tambourine. So she was like going around doing this to it. It has a bunch of these potted tinted lip balms from the body shop. I've actually never tried these before. So I might do a full review um, on the blog for these to just see how they are. Cause I've never even tried them. Um, 
I got some hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works. I keep these everywhere in my house. Um, I got Twisted Peppermint, Wrap Queen, which I have no idea what this one smells like. I'll have to open that and smell it. Um, I got some candy. And that's it. That's my whole stocking. Um, so let's get into actual gifts so this video isn't like 110 years long. So some gifts, um, I'm not going to be showing you every single thing that I got for Christmas um, just because A, that'll make the video extremely, extremely long and B, we did our, um, our gift exchange with my side of the family a couple weeks ago. So some of the items that I got in that gift exchange I've already been using, like a new pair of shoes I got and that kind of thing. I might mention them but I'm not going to like go into full detail because I've already used them. I'm not gonna look at, like, hold up like dirty shoes for you guys because <laughs> that's really effing weird. So I'm gonna start with that stuff first. The stuff I got from the gift exchange with my parents a couple weeks ago. First thing I got was a new iPad case. My iPad's not currently in here because my daughter got a new iPad case for Christmas, a baby-proof one. <laughs> so my iPad's currently in there um, in case she wakes up while I'm filming this video so she has something to play with. I got a new pair of boots. These are not the ones that I've been wearing. I got two new pairs. Well, I got a pair of boots and then a pair of like fuzzy shoes, but I've been liking the fuzzy shoes a lot more, I'll be honest with you. Um, but these are a brown leather and suede boot with like a fuzzy lining on the inside. Just super comfy, super great for our weather here. I live in Northern Alberta, Canada, so it is like super snowy, super cold here. So a boot like this could be something that I could really use for years to come. So I really appreciated these. I haven't really worn them yet, as you guys can see, because I was kind of just saving them for this video. And right now I'm pregnant, so the idea, and I'm in my third trimester, so the idea of putting on socks is like, Girl, no, I'm gonna wear my fuzzy little slip-on shoes, which I also got for Christmas, so I'll insert a picture of them. Um, they're just like black little slip-on shoes with fuzz on the inside. They're suede on the bottom of the shoe, it has like good traction. Um, and I've been loving those, those are really great. The next thing I got was an external CD or DVD drive for my laptop. Um, the type of laptop I have does not have a disk drive, so this is basically an external one that you can plug in through a USB cord, so if I want to watch DVDs or look up um, like the ultrasound pictures I get from um, when I go get ultrasounds done, uh, are usually come on a CD, so I need a disk drive to view those, just things like that. I believe this is from Amazon, if you're wondering where this is from. And then the last thing I'm going to show you from uh, my early gift exchange was this book, which is from my grandmother. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I have been for like the last like 10 years of my life. Um, but this is a special edition illustrated copy of Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Um, and I just thought this was so adorable. We actually got this from Costco because it was on sale at Costco. Um, and it was just... It's such an amazing keepsake to have, especially if you are a big Harry Potter fan. Like, I feel like this is such a nice thing to be able to keep and treasure. Sorry, one last thing. I also got some Nivea Express Makeup Remover. I mean, this is like the kind with the two parts like a shake, and it becomes one. Just thought I'd, I thought that would be nice to try out. So anyway, moving on to gifts from my husband and daughter, and like one gift from my aunt, or like some gifts from my aunt. Um, First thing I got was a pair of new slippers. These are just um, from Airwalk. They're super, super comfy and plush on the inside. When I first put them on, I wasn't sure if they were gonna fit because my husband just bought them in my size um, and they seemed a little snug, but the more that I'm wearing them, the more I'm realizing that they're stretching out and they're fitting really nice. Um, I opened these last night because in our family we do one gift on Christmas Eve and this was the one gift that my husband picked for me to open, so. Yeah, those were really nice and they seem to be fitting really well. So this is the My Best Breast Friend um, nursing pillow. Um, so there's a funny story behind this. I actually ordered this for myself from the Bed Bath & Beyond website, which isn't my favorite print, but you can buy different covers for them. So I was, I was like, oh, that's, that's really cool. It was on sale. So this was on sale for like $20 less than it normally is, which is like, it's normally like $60 here in Canada. I think I paid like 36 for it. So it was a really good deal. I ordered this and Bed & Bath & Beyond shipping takes so effing long that by the time I got he, it got here, I didn't even know what it was. It showed up at the door and it was in Lane's name. I think I'd used his credit card for whatever reason that day. I don't know if it was just more convenient because his wallet was downstairs what whatever the case may be um, but I had to put it in Lane's name because that's how credit cards work um, because otherwise they won't be billed properly and you'll run into issues 
so I, it was in Lane's name and it showed up at the door and I was like, oh, Lane must have ordered something from Bed Bath Beyond. Like I was clueless. Um, so <laughs> I put this down on his desk and he opens it and he's like, what is this? Like, did you order something? And I was like, no, I didn't. Like, I didn't order anything. Completely, completely forgot about it. Must be the pregnancy brand. Like, I had no, no idea, no clue whatsoever. And he was like, oh, okay. And then randomly, like a week ago, because he was going to just put it aside and like wrap it up for Christmas morning and then tell me um, that like he like I had randomly bought something. But randomly, like a week before Christmas, I get an email from Bed Bath and Beyond, and they're like, are you enjoying your? nursing pillow and I was like what nursing pillow and it, it turned out to be this one so um, I'm really excited because this has great back support so I can't wait to try this out with the new baby and see if I like it I've heard mixed reviews so I can't wait to try it out for myself let's get into some body goodies so I got this set from Bath and Body Works this is the vanilla Be Noel set and it has like a holographic um, cover which Audrey was obsessed with um, and when you open it up woo, it comes with the shower gel the fragrance mist the lotion and then the ultra body cream all in the vanilla bean noel scent I could wear this scent all year round I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I'm I, apparently I'm a 14 year old girl um, but I thought find this is really nice it's a good combination between like sweet and like kind of spicy um, so I really like it Lane got me the full set in that so that I will have plenty of body care essentials for months to come because one of these shower gels literally lasts me about three months next let's do some mac goodies apparently lane this came in like such a cute gift bag uh, and apparently lane decided to switch it out for a different gift bag no idea why and he like put the mac gift bag aside like the nutcracker suite which is like the um, holiday collection from mac he got a specially like nutcracker suite gift bag and apparently he just like put that aside and it's like for me to keep like i have i have no idea where his brain was this is what he got me or he and audrey everything is from like him and audrey but she's not really to the stage yet where she can go pick out her own gifts this is the nutcracker suite pink mineralized kit um so it comes within this little makeup bag which is so cute i love the print of the holiday packaging this year i haven't loved a holiday pack packaging so much since i think maybe like 2013 this inside the makeup bag you get three items so the first thing i got was well the first thing that came in here was the mineralized mineral <laughs> mineralized rich lipstick in be fabulous a beautiful like okay so this is like a warm tone pink really pretty oh that's really cool it like magnetizes I haven't had any of the mineralized lipsticks yet um, and then I got a mineralized lip gloss in eloquently elegant so it's just this like beautiful baby pink color. Um, definitely steering towards more of a warm tone, like a peachy undertone. Ooh, that feels kind of sticky. I think I'll just have to try that on my on my lips because that kind of like it has the tacky factor. So that's in the middle there. And then it comes with a miniature, which I didn't know was miniature when I first ordered it because I actually ordered this um, for Lane. <laughs> because he had no idea because uh, he knew that I wanted this like he knew that I wanted one of the holiday kits but he's like I have no idea which one I don't want to order the wrong one because they're so expensive because they are like $60 Canadian um, and I just happened to order on a day where they were 25% off so anyway um, I didn't know that this was like miniature size because it doesn't show it's miniature sized on the website which is like haha <laughs> good marketing Mac um, but anyway this is in a mineralized skin finish I've been wanting to try for a long time this is light skipade which is supposed to be really good um, mineralized skin finish if you're pale um, for highlighting which oh yeah that looks like it's gonna be beautiful so I don't know if you guys can see that with the intense lighting but that's just right there like almost like a white gold color I wouldn't say pink gold <laughs> like a white gold um, very very pretty and then I also got some Mac goodies from my aunt as well um, I got one thing from the holiday collection from her from the Nutcracker Sweet collection and this is a matte lipstick in the color flamboyish and this was probably the most popular color 
from this collection. So I was so happy to get my hands on it. And it comes in such cool packaging this year, like the purple and pink. It just reminds me of Barbie um, with the gold Mac and the gold um, inside. So cute. So this is like a bam in your face, like Barbie pink lipstick. There's a swatch right there. But I really love these colors for the spring, oddly enough. Like once, the, like, I can't even say the spring. Like after Christmas hits, I'm done with my bright red lips and I like to move on to like bright fuchsias and bright pinks. So I just knew that I'd get a lot of use out of this. And it was just, it was so popular. It was one of those things where it's like every blogger's talking about it and every blogger's making dupes for it because it's selling out. And I was like, I need it. I also got two of the eyeshadows and these are in the Pro Pan form um, just because I do my eyeshadow my Mac eyeshadows in a palette because otherwise I wouldn't ever use them so the first eyeshadow I got is in the color Cockette. it's like a beautiful I thought this would have more shimmer in it hmm. weird but it's like a beautiful cool tone brown which I love cool tone browns for my lids. So there's Cockette right there. I'm not on my finest swatch game this morning as you might be able to tell. And the next one I'm not gonna take out of its packaging just because it's a boring color, but this is in the color Omega. This is what I do my brows with every single morning. I love filling in my brows with powder. And this eyeshadow in particular um, just matches my brows perfectly. I've been using this for years. Um, so I just needed a refill on this because I was almost out of it, so fairly boring and then I have another not so exciting item <laughs> oh, and that is my concealer this is just the Mac studio finish concealer in NC 15 because I'm pale um, it just looks like that just skin tone I'm not gonna swatch that because that would be absolutely pointless but yeah that's some concealer um, and then also from my husband I got the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone of the illustrated versions. So I got the Chamber of Secrets and then the Philosopher's Stone, which is the first two books in the illustrated um, version. And I'm just, ugh. this is all for my husband and daughter as well. Uh, my, my husband went a little um, bath and body crazy, uh, but I don't mind because I love these kinds of products, especially after, after I have my kids, I tend to have, like go through a phase where I'm just not so much into putting makeup on anymore because it takes too much time. But I like to always keep up with like um, pampering myself with different body lotions and different shower gels because it's quick and it's easy and it still makes you feel really good about yourself. So he kind of knows that because he saw me go through it with Audrey. But anyway, um, so he got me three of the Body Shop Body Butters, which these are like my favorite body butters of all time. If you have extremely dry skin, I would definitely recommend these. He got me the mango scent. I kind of like that he didn't get like specifically Christmas scents in these either, because then I don't have to, <laughs> then it's not like all about Christmas all year long, because I have so much bath and body stuff that I'm not gonna be able to use it up in like the next month. Um, <laughs> he got me a strawberry. And he got me coconut, which I really like coconut. It almost smells like a cocoa butter smell. I'm on to the last two things. I know this has gotten a bit long. <laughs> um, so the second last thing he got me, which is something that was really, um, really good because it's something I use on an everyday basis and it's something that I don't always treat myself to um, as well so first off I needed a new cleanser I was like this close to being out of a cleanser um, and I've never tried this one this is the Neutrogena fresh foaming cleanser um, and it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin so I hope that works out well also it came with two packs of the Neutrogena makeup wipes and these are my favorite 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 makeup removing wipes but because they're so expensive they're like $11 a pack at Shoppers Drug Mart for 25 wipes so you know I'm not going at that all the time. <laughs> I, I am a budget friendly person. I am not gonna sit there and spend like, I don't even know what that calculates out to, like 25 cents a wipe? Probably more than that, I have no idea. But it costs a lot per wipe. And a lot of times I'm like, you know what, I can just use like um, non-scented or sensitive skin baby wipes, like it's fine. But these are a really nice treat. They take off your makeup a lot better than any baby wipes could. So I really like this. So this was a really nice kit. And he told me it was rather inexpensive too. He said it was under the 20 buck mark, um, which means that you've got like one of these for free. So definitely a good deal. If you're interested, I'd definitely go look at that kit 
right away. <laughs> and then the last thing is probably the thing I'm most excited about after out of everything I got. I do have two things still coming in the mail, which I'll just tell you about. I got a Sephora collection gel liner because I wanted to compare it to the MAC one um, and the Maybelline one. And then I also got the Buxom Stone Cold Babe holiday set. So <laughs> those two are still coming in the mail, but he got me the Shoppers uh, Mascara Sampler. So this runs a little differently than the Lash Dash from Sephora, which is the one I originally wanted, but he picked up this one instead. And I'm almost glad he did. This comes with seven different mascaras and a brow gel. And you get to try each of them. Like it comes with a deluxe sample size of each mascara and brow gel. And then you also get in the kit, you also get a certificate to go in and get one of these free and full size, which is something you don't get with the Sephora Lash Dash. With the Sephora Lash Dash, they give you, like you get the deluxe samples, but then they just give you a full size. They choose which full size one you get. Whereas this, I felt like was a almost better concept because you get to ch try them all first, pick out your favorite, and then go get that one in full size for free. So I thought that was the, a really cool concept and I really, I really almost like this better. Um, so this includes the Clarins Mascara Supra, um, the Lancome Hypnos Drama, I've tried that one before, it was okay. Um, Smashbox Full Exposure, although I don't know if they've updated the formula on the Lancome, I have to admit, I didn't, haven't tried that one in at least four years. So it might, it might have improved since then, they might have changed the formula. Um, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, Clinique Chubby, Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara, the Smashbox X-Rated, the Art Deco All-in-One, the Bene and the Benefit Roller Lash, and then you get a uh, deluxe sample of the Benefit Give Me Brow as well, or Gemi Brow. So I thought that was really fun. I plan on doing a whole video um, on how all the different mascaras like weighed up against each other my top three favorites and then what one I ended up going and getting in full size so I'll be doing a full video review on this in probably a couple weeks so definitely stay tuned for that on my channel anyway guys that is everything I got for Christmas this year I hope this video wasn't too long I like to remind everyone that this isn't the season of gifts this is the season of family and giving gifts and spending time with each other and loving each other and food and Jesus and just all sorts of great things. Gifts aren't the primary focus, not for me personally anyway. So gifts are not the primary focus. Some of you guys, this might seem like a lot for Christmas. To some, this might seem like very little because everyone, every family has a different outlook on what's a good amount for Christmas. So. I hope that this didn't offend anybody. I know that this is a video that I love making and it's one I love even more to watch. Like I will be spending all day today watching these videos, like no joke. I have to make a Christmas dinner today and I will probably have my iPad there going, new video, new video, new video all day. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I am that crazy person. So, and even in like the middle of July, if I'm like, you know what, I'm down. I'm gonna watch some what I got for Christmas videos because why not? So <laughs> I am a crazy person. So I hope this didn't offend anybody. I just love these videos. So I, I really hope you guys can appreciate that. And I hope you guys just enjoyed your Christmas. I, this is my favorite, favorite time of year. And I, I really hope that you guys got to live the same joy that I did this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this what I got for Christmas video. Make sure to leave some comments down below if you want to see review videos or tutorials or whatever on any of the items you saw here today. And subscribe down below if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!